Hello, this is Tiki Gray. Playing Mika Law recently, he is now an exceptionally strong premier level player. So, let's just look at some ranked games I've had against him. I'm running. I I'm probably going to have this deck almost every single game against him. I was just trying to stack out against uh, Meek. I'm trying to find a good all-rounder deck against him, which, I mean, it doesn't exist during this patch, but I've just been experimenting with some decks that seem to be pretty reliable against them. Which, that deck would be Squizzard, Pigeon, Ferret, Skunk Snake is a really reliable deck against them. But, in this instance, I was still on Falcons. He's running Skrill, Falcon, Skunk, War, Fox, Wire. Deck I actually used to run a lot, and I ran in the first season of the championship. Came across with a lizard, that maybe I could kill something, but no opportunities. And I've been full so far. I'm slightly behind on eco, and I always do uh, early or pre eight from Warren against me since me likes to rush a lot. It's gonna be a bit. Bill Skunk. I build a mill. Uh, I was just looking into a this is this guy. So I guess now snake push. Going double skunk, and here's where this happens. Boar Fox, which is wow. See, Boar Fox is actually extremely strong. Like, if you don't have tier three or defense, like she actually can't deal with it. Like it just kills everything. It's way too effective, honestly. I do not have tier 3. I do. So yeah, I did scout on my first run since... I mean, I knew Meek had something going on. I was either hit him at tier 3. He loves both of those, so... decided to go for it. Just do a push right away. Tap two pigeons. Skunk, snake, lizards. But he actually sells off both the more. He goes mass skills. Oh, here comes the barbed wire spammed. I'm just waiting for my second skunk to get here. And I did not realize he has a ton of skills behind this. Yeah, I go in. Then, like, I have pigeons, so I should be fine. But then I see this. I actually ended up losing this snake. Bro, which was really unfortunate since I should have focused on killing the skunks. And I realized there's a ton of skills. I'm like, did he sell the tier 3? <laughs> I actually ended up losing a lot of army, and I'm kind of surprised because I mean, I had two skunks versus skrills. Like, I thought more skrills fight, but I guess not. So that was a really bad fight for me. Now he's going back into tier three. So at this point, I kind of thought the game might be over. So I don't really have anything going for me. But might as well try to push again. I'm trying to micro here, but I just did a really bad job. Really wish I had six uh, pigeons here. That would have been really good. But I have three, which is not the nice. So I try to break through. So I try to send the lizards for the horns. They like instantly start dying. It was fine. Like okay, well I probably just lost, but he only had three skills. So the skunks actually can't kill my pigeon snake. I'm like, okay, well, then we just kill his mill because people forget to do this. Like, they hyper focus on the enemy tier 3 warns or the tier 3s if they come out, but like, just kill their mill. Because, <laughs> A, on one base like this, like, it's probably their only mill, so they're just gonna lose the game. But if it's not their only mill, they're automatically put into starvation, which buys you a lot of time since they have to go not be in starvation. <laughs> so you might not be able to push across the map right away. <laughs> or they aren't because they have to go with the starvation. Either that, or they try to end the game within 60 seconds, so they don't kill you before you starve, but that's generally not possible. So yeah, I'm just trying to find his other mill at this point. Like, I've already scouted all the mills on the map, so I know just 
limited possibilities. And his war is out. I mean, he does put down the farm, so he's trying to push across, but like it's too late. That, like I already found the mill for these rivers. Yeah, here, okay, here is my anti meek all rounder deck. Squizzard, Pigeon, Ferret, Skunk Snake. Skunk Snakes is really good. You can deal with a lot of things. Let's get Pigeon to micro well. You can deal with a lot of things. Squizzards can also deal with a lot of things. Ferrets just deal with meek's uh, fortification decks or structure decks. At least the ones that involve MG and artillery. And uh, wire. Not so good against uh, balloon decks. Unfortunately. Uh, like, Shrill Tail Balloon, this deck cannot deal with that well. I guess Squizzard can, it's really up in the air. It really depends on the terrain and whatnot. Yeah, I got five farm warrants. Actually, stay up to the six farm and put down a warrant, which is kind of dangerous, honestly. It's really dangerous on the map this short. And I thought I would just take the most direct route. I guess I would have been fine, honestly, but he actually tries to go the long way around. <laughs> yeah, I see the skills, so I realize he's flanking. So I lose a pig, which is really, really annoying. But you know, I killed a lot more skills. I lost one skill, he lost six. I'm going for the counter attack since I'm on triple warn. And I know he's not. Or he is now, but like it just went up recently. Plus he just lost all his army, so focus fire on the skills. Pretty standard stuff. Kill the pig. Kill the warren. Which I do lose. Okay, I only lose one skill archery. So at this point I'm in a really, really good spot. I did lose a couple more. Well, actually, I'm not sure if I lost any more skills. Lost six skills. I also lost six skills. So, yeah. Plus, I killed a farm and a war, and I'm in a really strong spot. But I can still easily lose like some tier three cheese. So I definitely need to be careful. Like, what if he had boar wire? Like, master one isn't gonna do anything. So I just go and start going to skunks right away. If he does try to keep up with the tier one spam, like he just dies. But he comes out with his own skunks. I see that. If it was anything about Skunks, he'd lose the game, so. Stay on seven farms for the moment. Honestly, I should have just win a snake uh, right away, but I'm actually not sure why I delayed so much. I guess I just decided to push very quickly. I should have just won snakes, like uh, snake, pigeon, mill. Instead, I'd take forever to put down the pigeons then. Yeah, I really messed that up. I could have done a lot of reshuffling of uh, selling off units and tacking up, but I didn't for whatever reason. And like, he already has both his skunks out. I mean, I can't do anything here. Do I... So, that, okay, that's some sort of bug. I don't know why it happens, but I guess Skrill Shot will only do one damage, or Lizard Shot will only do two damage, and I have no idea why it happens. It happens very rarely, but it does happen. I honestly don't know why. It's kind of weird. So, the first fight actually went better for me, but the second fight's not going to go as good. Yeah, my skunk's gonna put any gas down, so I just end up losing a ton of skills here. But I still haven't had an eco, which is nice. I see the boar. Oh yeah, I just need a need a tech up in the tier two. Since boar can't do anything against pigeons. But I only need two snakes in this situation, plus pigeon, so I'll be cool. I actually do go up to four snakes. And more skills, so I'm playing kind of risky, but I mean, I'm still ahead. And he has to cross water. It's kind of like a pretty small pa uh, space to work through, and he has to go across water, even though it's a little bit of water, but it's still water. So 
I can just defend with Skunk, so. Right, he's trying to do Master One, but yeah. Not gonna work. Yeah, like, ah, oh, man, I, I, I have three Skunks out. Like, this isn't gonna work. Yeah, just kite backwards. And, yeah, as you can see, all genus just die. This is his commander. <laughs> I ended up losing several tier 2 to this kind of gas, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, Meek's been beating me a fair amount recently. I I'm still beating him more than half the time, but not by a whole lot more. <laughs> recently, although my overall uh, record against him is still great. It's like 70-30 or something. So he's with the Skrill, Toad, Chameleon, Boar, Owl, Elude. Chameleon is a really odd choice in that deck, I don't know why, since Skrill Toad Balloon is... It's just something you set up early, then you focus on getting into tier 3 out, I'm not really sure where the, the Chameleon's coming in that deck. No, like, Chameleons aren't that good at attacking either, so... I think you realize the Chameleons are garbage, because I only saw him use this deck once, and he started dropping Chameleon for Fox. Or a Wolf Fox Owl. Skrill to tell Sniper Balloon is on the decks he runs. Very good deck. So yeah, I decided to kill a smell on the edge of the map and so yeah, I just go that way. And, yep. Or kill the farm, I mean. He actually started toads, I guess, to cheese me, but like I just went this way. <laughs> and I even got away with the skrill, so. Let's speed this up. Trying to harass again. I do make him sell a farm, which is nice. I try to do this cheese again since he has toads, but I mean, he was actually down to three skills. I was actually fine to keep on pushing here. I that, that was my bad. And we lost almost equal army. I lost one more unit. I, I thought he had more skills. I mean, he does have reach. Uh, he is producing skills, so but I, I probably should have held on for another second or two. See, maybe take a pig or kill some toads if he goes around the toads. The toads. Four comes down. By that mill. I see the boar. I'm like, okay, that's interesting. Let me just. Do the standard response, tech up into tier 2 and pigeon. Definitely. Yeah, I'm saying not doing a huge tech switch because he does have a lot of tier 1, so I need to be really careful if he does decide to attack. I put down too many tier 2 warns after selling off tier 1. Then he does this, he goes double owl, which is... Damn. So I see his army, and I see that he's not moving out with a boar, so I mean, I... I now know he has something behind this as an other tier 3 since I've seen all the mills on the map I know it's all hit a mill so he has something behind this which is most likely double owl or at least one owl is owls is the most likely thing behind this maybe potentially a fox too or a badger honestly badger boar is actually very strong if the opponent doesn't have snakes but I do have snakes here got some pigeons going up to nine pigeons getting a flank ready although it's kind of hard to get a proper flank on this position <laughs> So 
So I thought my skunk snakes were closer, so I'm actually have a real my, my skunks and snakes are really late to the fight, which is really not awesome. They are both running out of food, but my skunks end up killing all his skrills, which is really nice. So he doesn't have anything that can, can kill my pigeons, and like the mice, um, the mice and the boar can't actually kill my skunk or snake. Although they, okay, they actually do end up killing a skunk there, which is really not awesome. So at this point, I'm just focusing on trying to get snake tags down while avoiding the. Uh... Yeah, well here I'm just trying to avoid the boar bomb. And he, he just doesn't have any way to deal with the pigeons. Although there's almost enough mice to actually end up killing the snake, but it's still not enough. You know, I'm super. Both of us are really supply blocked. <laughs> Honestly, even if I couldn't kill the tier 3, like, he would just starve to death at some point, <laughs> pretty soon. Yeah, if, if, now he's starving. And, yeah, he just doesn't have enough. Now I'm just playing sync tags on the owls. Can I retreat with the snakes? Because I have no money either, so I can't exactly afford to lose units. But yeah, I end up tagging the last owl, so... Okay. Box about skunk. That is a not great decision. Running this stack with MG since I like to do list flanking, and I really need defenses for the lizard snake flanking. Otherwise, it's really dangerous. An event full early game. Some warrants going down. Scally, I'm scaling and I see the. F I do, I, I, yeah, I do. Okay, I actually don't see the four warrants. Then he goes ahead and buys the mill. And I bought a mill, so he's not actually behind in food here. I'm just scouting the rest of the map here, so I'm going to take a really long time to realize this. It would have been good if he had MGs, but he does not, unfortunately. Snakes. Pigeons. I still haven't seen this, actually. Now I do see it. I'm like, oh shit. If he had MGs, like, he could have just set up with MGs. And, well, I have snakes to counter the MGs, but it's kind of interesting. But MG sniper balloon, if he does get set up, there's nothing I can do. I'm just doing a little bit of picking away. I mainly did, I'm just being so aggressive to keep him from getting any uh, MGs up. Pretty bad trade, I end up losing two skills there. Really not amazing. But now I have the snakes up, which is really nice. Since uh, if I have pigeon snake, I can just kill. Man, that is so much. Uh... So that's a lot of units, and I do end up losing the pigeons, but. And he has a much longer reinforced distance now my second snake is out. And yeah, his longer reinforced distance is really hurting him here. Plus, he's much more supply block than I am due to having more production that he can't actually build off of all his horns while I can. Or almost can. He'll get the mill out of the way. And I mean, I have pigeons, so. Yeah, I just lose this. So I'm just gonna kill his four warrants next. His mill. He 
Nico to Skrill, Toad, Sniper, Wolf, Owl, Fox. Really strong deck. Like, there's so many situations where, like, 1 base tier 3 is surprisingly strong in a lot of situations. I should probably go back to trying it again. We're trying multiple tier 3 decks. Since, like, you should only have Pigeon, there's not really a whole lot you can do against tier 3 a lot of the time. Well, against Owl in particular. Yeah, me. Lots of warrants really for me. So I already realized at this point that his sec that he had one of his second well he has two second mills, but this one's like right here, and he's probably gonna take it since it's in the back, so he thinks it's safe. But I have flying vision with pigeon, so I can just kill this mill with ferrets. And I already know that, so that was my game plan. Just kill his second mill with ferrets. He does take this mill, which is what I want. I saw where the ferrets, but then I realized that's stupid because if I go next to the cliff, he'll just kill me with skrills. So I actually end up selling the ferrets and going into skunks, then building the ferrets, since I need the skunks to deal with the skrills. Uh, he just ends up playing really greedy, and he has the sniper blown up, so he feels safe. Here we go. Actually, almost lose the ferret here, which is kind of funny. He could have killed the ferret, but he ends up backing off too soon. And if he had killed the ferret, he probably wouldn't have won the game, honestly. I'm like, okay, I end up going back to my base to spend money since I don't need to be here to micro anything. Here comes the trip. We'll foul Fox. Here he should just, uh. He likes to do Fox a lot, but if he just went Wolf Double Owl, that they're, like, that's just better in a lot of situations, including this one. Like, he kills Fox and he really should just be going another Owl sometimes. Bad. Uh. Okay, so I haven't scouted triple tier 3 yet. Although I can assume, like, I don't see this mill taken, so I can pretty much just assume it's triple tier 3 at this point. Or tier 3 of some sort. It's off the pairs, since I mean, there's no reason to have them. It's going master one now. Here comes the push, the units are about to be out. Fortunately, all his warrants are in front, so I just end up killing him right away, so he has no other unit protection that I need to worry about. So yeah, this is like gonna start killing my army really, really quickly, since like... The Wolf with Owl makes like 3 mice every 5 seconds. Mice do 3 damage each, and have Swift, they're basically lizards with less range. That's a lot of damage. Fox is of course one, uh, killing 2 units a second, because it's Fox. So like... Well, I, I can't chase that down since they're wolf buff. He's just gonna run away. I mean, maybe I could actually. Maybe I have enough units. I don't think so though, because wolf buff is insane. But like, this is probably his only mill, so I'm just gonna go ahead and kill the mill, <laughs> and I'll be fine. Actually, I probably would have been able to chase down his units. Maybe not. Maybe I'm not sure. Honestly. This is going to be in Delphi's stream. This game froze in that one, so who cares about that replay? Oh yeah, this this is a funny one. 
technique running the QQ deck. Going double Warren, I saw off a Warren. I like he, yeah, I mean, really big map, like the timing just wasn't gonna work. Actually, end up going triple Warren. Maybe just do more safe in case he went triple Warren. Maybe I can counter attack. I don't want to map this big, it's unlikely. I see they have three Warrens up, so I'm like, okay, can counter attack. The big, bigger problem is that I only have a one mil, or like, my second mil is so far away, which is really something you don't want against. It's. Because I'll just like, keep on flanking the bases. Skunks. So I opt for uh, double skunk. It's one of the things I like to do against lizards is just gotta go double skunk drill push. And you know that, that'll win 90% of the time. Against wizard, it's not good, but against Perlu. So I actually decided to, since four skunks plus mass Liz, will just like just destroy Perlis. So I actually end up teching completely in the Liz here. So I don't scout this proxy, but he also doesn't scout what I'm doing either. He thinks we still have Skrills. So then I scout, I'm like, oh, that's, uh, that's interesting. Like, okay, I can't break that. I'm gonna hope, since he puts so much money in fortifications, he has less list than me. Well, four skunks at home will definitely defend. So yeah, you can see he was thinking about burrowing back, but, like, he already sees me on a mini-map, so... Like, he, like he's gonna lose the mill. Uh, no matter, like, he won't be back in time. So he tries to base trade me, but I'm killing all his warrens and his mill. But, I mean, it, it's four skunks behind warrens and pigs, like... Yeah, th that's not enough lizards. Like, he does kill two lizards, but... I mean, I just kill his mill. <laughs> I mean, he does kill two skunks, but now his mill is dead, and it's... Yep. It's over. Oh yeah, this game. So yeah, see the moles. And I want to say here, like, neither of us are trying to rush each other. Tier 2. I go snakes, I, I can't remember why precisely. I was thinking about pushing here, but I decided to back off. I and mean, maybe I could have pushed in, because his, like, fifth skill is really far off. I'm going skunk. Now I'm again switching in the uh, Lizard Pigeon. Very strong uh, Poltic combo here. You know, like an open terrain, it's just a lot of brute force and stats behind it. Although against Skunk Snake, it's not that great. I mean, I, an open terrain is still better than a Skrill, but... Like in the Choke, the Lizards just die instantly, so... Or in any sort of non-open terrain, Lizards just die instantly. So I decided to go for the lizard snake flank here. Snakes come from this way, kill the mill, while lizards come in from this direction. I do not have MGs or fortifications to hide behind, so this is a bit dangerous. Okay, like snakes first. I'm trying to shack them with the lizards. Can't lose the lizards because I need to make sure he uh if he goes in against my snakes, I just go back in with the lizards. Out of the way this worked out, I still end up killing the mill, so I decided to go back with my lizards. Since, I mean, that's kind of game over since I'm up two farms. If he tries to build a mill again, I'm just gonna go up to like six farms. Then like this spam units. It's a bit dangerous. He actually does have more army to me here, but like I catch all the pigeons from the back, and all his, the skills just starts dying to skunk gas, so I end up wrapping this up really nicely.
I actually ended up selling after scrolls just because I'm trying to limit the game. Like, I don't feel like waiting for them. Scrolls would have been nice here. Kind of really bad. Like, you can see how garbage lizards were there. Like, they spent so much time trying to find tiles and then want the warrens either. Like, that was. I mean, I still ended up winning the fight, but that, that was only by a couple of units. Bad skills, I would have done so much more damage. So, like, again, I'm still. The game is over, but I did fall back because, like, what if his snake ended up killing my snake and my skunk, like, my pigeon somehow? Or, like, I'm still really low eco, too, so I wasn't taking any chances of something happening. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I just this. That is it for this video.